Hey, Lois. No, I wasn't. Ah, oh, Brian, thank God it's just you. You know how Peter thinks TV rots the mind. Oh, as long as you're here, can you run some vocabulary with me? I need to know how to use these words in sentences by the time Peter gets home. Oh, that should be easy. Just give me the word, and I'll put it in a sentence for you. Anodyne. Uh, a friend asked me what anodyne means. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm never gonna learn any of these words. Oh, I can't take this anymore, Brian, and the kids can't either. Peter's become a nightmare. Wait, I thought this is what you always wanted, for Peter not to be an idiot. Oh, at least that Peter was fun and didn't make me feel so stupid. Oh, I miss the old Peter. Well, we gotta do something, because this new Peter just sounds all wrong, like a pilot without a calming voice. We've now reached our cruising altitude! If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains! Ah! We have to get out of here! Wait a minute. If visiting San Francisco and New York made Peter smart, maybe if we send him to the dumbest city in the whole country, it'll bring back the old Peter. Huh. It's worth a try. Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> Is Peter home? He's pulling in now. I sure hope Tucson helped. Heads up, guys. I farted on the doorstep, but it's hot on my trail. Oh, Brian, that's a good sign. How was your trip? Oh, amazing. I saw a wet T-shirt contest using chocolate milk. It was at the Tucson Philharmonic. What else did you do? Eh, mostly just picked my desert boogers. Oh, Peter, you're back. Thank God. We all owe that trash city a debt of gratitude. Do you know Battleship is still in theaters there?